Welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. My name is uh, Maro Finos. Uh, I'm a lab architect within the Education Services team. In this Learning Byte, I'll be uh, kind of showing you how how to uh, manage uh, configuration uh, using JWeb uh, on a VSRX. So JWeb is basically an interface that allows uh, users to monitor, configure, troubleshoot, and manage VSRX uh, images by using uh, regular web browsers. And uh, it provides access to all of the configuration statements supported by the VSRX instance. And you can configure JWeb under the system services hierarchy as shown in the screen here. Uh, you can configure both HTTP and HTTPS through the CLI first if you want. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you a lot of slides with this uh, learning byte, just uh, I'm gonna right, go right into the demonstration of how does uh, the configuration management in a JWeb uh, looks like. Uh, so uh, just give me one second here. Just gonna go back, go to my jump box, which is basically a Linux box uh, that has access to my VSRX. And I'm gonna connect, so as you see here, I'm gonna connect to the JWeb interface of my uh, VSRX with the super user account. And once I log in, I'm presented with a nice GUI, as you see here. I'm gonna close. Uh, it, it, it allows a lot of uh, wizards uh, uh, to, to perform different actions. So uh, to manage configuration, uh, we need to go to the administration hierarchy of the JWeb on the left side uh, slide, and you can manage uh, files. This is where I mean, uh, you know, you can you can manage files uh, and config management is what we are interested, right? Uh, so files basically allows you to you know clean up your log files and uh, delete the Juno's backup image if you want to. Uh, but uh, for config management, you go to uh, config management hierarchy, and you can basically upload new configuration if you have any, and then just upload it and commit as well. You can use the history to see all the configuration you know, that got applied to this uh, image to this VSRX. And uh, you can basically select uh, this one and this one, multiple and the compare, for example, and shows you the uh, you know different uh, diff of both uh, configuration. You can also download a rollback as well uh, through this uh, history uh, section. Uh, if you want to download an image, you just click. Uh, so you want to download the current config, you can click on download and it saves the file uh, on your machine, and you can open it up. Right, and you can see the configuration. Rescue configuration allows you to set rescue uh, configuration. Uh, basically, uh, if you wanna set a rescue, you can just click on it and hit OK, and that's it. You can also see the rescue configuration that you just set. So that's pretty much it, actually. It's pretty simple to use, you know, to manage the config file here. As long as you have a config file ready, you can just upload it and, and apply it. So I hope this video helps. And thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, Join the discussion.